Hello. Since only a couple of days, Wikipedia provides the STL format, meaning you can upload STL files, which can then be rendered in the Wikipedia and Wikicommons viewer, so you see the objects in 3D and can sort of uh, rotate them uh, and uh, use them for all kinds of other purposes. So STL5 file format, you find it here in the Wikipedia, uh, is just a file format uh, for CAD usage, basically, for printing now these, these days or whatever. And uh, here is the full description. And when you go to the desktop version of Wikipedia, you find uh, the description in many other languages. Espanol, for example, Francais, uh, Italiano, Korean, Netherlands, uh, etc. So um, having said this, I give you an example of what I just did. I uploaded this uh, half torus here uh, with a diagonal cut. Uh, onto uh, wiki commons here this is my wiki commons account and now everybody who wants to use it can um, uh, rotate it and uh, it's it's not really that dramatic but uh, it's uh, kind of okay and uh, since the background is black here it looks a little bit funny when you rotate it like this it looks like it being cut out uh, which it really isn't. Never mind, this is uh, a future uh, which we should support. And when you have uh, modeled uh, nice geometry which might be relevant for others, for example, this one in the Wikipedia article about the torus, just f feel free. Uh, I encourage you to upload things to Wiki uh, Commons anyway. Okay, um, there's a current problem with <laughs> STL export from Maya 2018. It's not working. Uh, so we have a reply from a technical support person from Autodesk and she basically said in 2017 it was working uh, and uh, there's no solution so far. And uh, down here is my posting. Uh, it is working with NURB surfaces, but definitely not with meshes. And uh, this is uh, what I'm going to show you now. So uh, don't worry about uh, meshes. It's uh, it's just uh, impossible, really, to load them up to Wiki Commons at this stage. And I hope this is going to be fixed. OK, let's create a simple object. Go to NURB surfaces here and create a plane and scale the plane up and give the plane here in the attribute editor lots of div subdivisions here like these and then go to deform and uh, nonlinear deformer and a wave deformer so that's our wave deformer now all the deformers start with a amplitude value of zero that means they don't have any effect so when we turn this up, of course, the effect will be there. The wavelength, of course, has to do with the frequency and um, it's directly linked to the frequency. So here we can create uh, different kinds of ripples and we can have an offset, for example, or a drop off like this. I quite like this. And this is the file we're going to upload to Wiki Commons now. So uh, first of all, let's pick this, edit, and we delete by type the history of this object. Now the, uh, the wave deformer is gone. We just have a very clean NURBS plane, as it's called, surface, which is um, deformed by uh, a wave deformer. OK, um, now with this object selected, we go to File and export selection and now you use the option box you need to use the option option box and uh, I think the default is my binary and you go down to STL ATF export okay and you export the selection and you just give it a name like uh, wave deformation export selection. So the next thing we've got to do is we leave Maya now alone and we uh, will open the browser. 
I'm in the German wo version right now, so uh, I see everything in German. But I think I can switch it over to English. Yeah, that's good. Upload file. I upload a file now, and uh, I'm using the upload wizard, which is uh, good for pros and for beginners, whatever. It's not a complicated thing anyway. Select media files to share. I select the media files, which is the wave deformation STL. I open it, and now it's been uploaded to Wiki Commons. It's not there yet. We need to do some description work, but very little really. And then we're done. And everybody can use that wave I just created. And use it in a 3D printing process if needed, for example. So uh, it's successfully uploaded and it sits here. It's uh, the, the thumbnail is so small that uh, it's hard to see what it is. So I continue. This file is my own work. Yes, it is. That's my name. And I go to next. Now, this is new. This doesn't appear when you upload ordinary pictures. A warranty about patterns. I have all these license things checked. And uh, I know that's uh, my personal patent, so to say. Now, and this is important because this is uh, visible for everybody in the future. Um, wave deformation, give it a more better description. Wave deformation uh, using a 3D deformer, actually. Description in English. This plane was deformed by a wave deformer in a 3D application. That's all. I need to select the date, which is today. And now I add a category. And if you type in STL, you see already STL files. It's an STL file. And if you uh, have other ideas like wave, waves, uh, and uh, 3G, 3D, for example, 3D computer graphics. You can add these things as uh, categories. And now you go to Next. And now the file is there. You can click on it. it takes a while to upload the thumbnail. And now you can rotate it. I think they have to do something about the background color. But basically, that's what we just did in Maya. And it's now in the Wiki Commons. And you can insert it in any article where it's relevant. Well, please support Wiki Commons. They don't earn any money. And you don't, don't earn any money. And it's uh, caring by sharing.